What's up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. And in this video we will be looking at the Death Machine Rifle Prime. Before we get into the build, I'm going to show you guys really fast on what my Sentinel has so that way you guys can see that it doesn't have any buffs on the weapon itself. And all it has is just a warrior which allows it to fire at any enemies visible within 30 meters. Alright, let's go straight into the builds you guys, three builds. So first build would be the Riven version and this is the 62 to magazine capacity. Slash at 179, 116 to multi shot, and negative to 116 to status. Now, when it comes to the status duration, I don't really care about that since this build is made for damage itself, and it's pretty good. I won't lie, it's actually pretty strong enough to kill level 170 infested. Now, when it comes to the weapon itself, uh, you want to do or bring this weapon over on infested missions, not on grenadiers or corpus, since, well, it's slash damage, and again, it does pretty little damage on grenadiers. Corpus, it might do some pretty good damage on corpus. Uh, but when it comes to this weapon itself or this build, I mostly bring it on infested and it kills them pretty fast and quick. I will show you guys that. Before we get into the second build, though, I want to say that when it comes to the mods on the Death Machine Rifle, I recommend getting fast fire rate since this, uh, this weapon is a machine gun sort of thing. And when it comes to the reload, it's at 2 seconds and it's not that bad, I would say. It's pretty decent enough. But when it comes to the uh, ribbon, I don't recommend getting a ribbon. Uh, just straight up, if you guys ever somehow get a ribbon on this, uh, you get some stats on magazine slash damage, um, damage raw damage, uh, multi shot, anything else like that would be great. So, let's go for the second build here. And this build is a utility build made for debuffing enemies, so fire on radiation. Got hammer shot here for the extra status chance. Forget critical damage for a second, they're just, just straight up for status chance. Rock up to two for status chance as well. File acceleration for fast fire rate. Now, again, you guys can replace this for prime shred. That's even that's a lot better because you get a little bit more damage out of that. But file acceleration for fast, fast fire rate. You want to debuff enemies. Who cares about damage? Just straight up debuff. Split chamber. Yeah, why not, right? So you got the status of 20.4%. No room for vigilante armaments, I'm afraid. Since it's at 60 points, well, multi shot. You know what? Just get split chamber for that. Straight up to the third build, though. This third build is similar to my first build without a ribbon, replacing the ribbon with heavy caliber. And you got Fang Fusillade for the extra slash damage. Now you got the Hunter Munitions for the uh, slash procs. And usually when that happens is you get a 10% chance of doing that. But with the fast fire rate for Fervor and Shred, uh, you, you, you should nail that uh, Hunter Munitions pretty fast. So I'm going to show you guys the damage on all three of these builds. First build first, no Arcanes, or I don't think there is any Arcanes that buffs the Companions at all. We'll be doing this on level 170 Borlers since they are the toughest enemies at Fossil Light 1200. Well, I think they're the toughest. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're the toughest. So I'm going to go that for that. I will also show you guys the damage on the infested uh, Charger suits to see how fast it kills. Let's go for these guys. It's popping them pretty quick. For just level 170, it's popping them pretty fast. Let's go a little bit far so they don't explode on me. Okay, so that's the boiler it's targeting right now. So that's the damage it does. Not as fast as I thought, but you know, it's actually fast enough for you to be able to do something against an enemy that, that quick. So let's go for the third, uh, second build here. This is the utility. I'm not going to showcase this very long. It does have some potential in killing, but made for CC or damage. All right, so let's go for the third build. And third build would be the, well, similar to my first build, except that it is a little bit different. Heavy caliber replacement of Riven and a Hunter Munitions. My first build cannot use Hunter Munitions because, well, it just can't. I think I already killed most. Nope, I did not. Okay, let's go for this. So, it kills them pretty quick. Well, the trash uh, infested, of course. So, if these guys are lower levels, obviously, it will kill them a lot faster. Same thing with the boilers. Not even sure what it's targeting. I think it's targeting someone, something here. So that's the uh, slash box it does there. 
If it keeps targeting, of course, it's going to kill it fast. So that is the damage for all three builds, you guys. Hopefully, this video helps you guys a little bit on Death Machine Rifle. It's not made for killing, of course, but if you guys build it pretty, pretty well, it can kill. It definitely can kill over 170s. Not the uh, tough ones like Boilers, maybe, but probably the uh, trash ones will kill them pretty fast. If you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe to support my channel. Until we meet again, you guys, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.